way I see Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor 2. Initially, I thought Nate Diaz all the way, and I still do, but there is so much going into this. What stands out the most to me is that Conor doesn't seem that confident and isn't speaking like a winner or like the king, like he used to always say. Now in the past, Conor would give very vivid and precise predictions on how and when he was going to finish his opponents. He would talk about Dustin Poirier's head bouncing off the canvas, and it did. Then he would talk about how Jose Aldo would be done after the first exchange, and he was. McGregor did get Dennis Seaver wrong. He said something like he would finish him in two minutes, and he did it in the second round. But nonetheless, he made a very confident prediction. With Diaz, Connor seems like he is being forced by the media to make a prediction. So he just said that he would stop Diaz in the second round, which could happen, but it's highly unlikely. When people ask about a prediction, Connor doesn't seem confident and says the second round. And he also says things like, let's see how Mystic Mac does this time. His voice doesn't sound like he believes it himself. And he keeps saying it's just a fight. When he's asked if the legacy is on the line, Connor says his legacy is set in the way that he stopped Jose Aldo in 13 seconds. But with Diaz, it's just a fight. Comparing these from past fights, Connor is much more humble and apparently unsure of himself, whereas Nate is always the same as he's always been. Diaz doesn't give predictions. He just says things like, fuck you, and insults his opponents, flips them off, whatever. Nothing has changed. He's done that throughout his whole career. We've seen him do the same kind of antics over the past 10 years. Then there's all the drama. No matter what people say, to me it seems evident Nate is clearly winning the outside the cage antic in this rematch, just like he did in their first fight. At this week's press conference, Connor showed up late and hardly got to answer one question before it was called to an end after the melee of the bottle throwing. That in itself had to get under Connor's skin. He is used to dictating everything. We hear him say he's verbally destroying his opponents. Right after the bottle throwing incident, Connor appeared really pissed off. He's yelling and screaming backstage and even later admitted that he was drawn into the shenanigans. Nate, on the other hand, wasn't even phased by it. He appeared calm and relaxed immediately after the incident. Now keep in mind, Nate has allegedly got into street fights with Khabib Nakhmadov and with Apparently, Anthony Pettis and even Eddie Alvarez, or at least came close to getting into fights with them. I mean, this type of stuff doesn't seem to really get to Nate, whereas Connor, more or less, likes to speak very dramatically, but he's said to be a completely different person in front of the camera as he is when the camera's not on. Nate seems to be consistent all the time. Now, as for the skills, Connor apparently has spent $300,000 on his camp in preparation for this fight. That in itself has to build some confidence, but we have seen some of the boxing footage where there was a rumored fight between him and Mayweather. And honestly, McGregor's just straight boxing looked terrible. Then his sparring partner came out and said that even that footage was heavily edited in Connor's favor which makes it that much worse. But the thing that I keep thinking about is when I heard the TriStar Gym breakdown. Apparently in camps or gyms where there is a superstar, so to speak, sparring partners and team members are scared to show up or outperform or outdo the star. Kind of like if you go golfing with the boss, I mean, you have to let them win. So Connor is paying top dollar for these guys. They probably don't want to mess up a good thing so they might let Connor win or get the best of them to ensure that they keep their job. Now this could give Connor a false sense of confidence. Nate, on the other hand, has friends in his camp 
that most likely will push him to the max and even try and break him. I mean, I can only imagine how hard Nick rides his little brother. Now, anything can happen in a fight, but to me, all the advantages lead towards Nate, starting with the mental and verbal game. One possible advantage to Connor is that Nate could possibly be overconfident or too relaxed. I mean, I hope Nate isn't messing around or joking around the night before the fight, kind of hanging out too long with friends and teammates. This is still a very important fight, and Nate has publicly stated that a win over McGregor this Saturday will enable him to change the game. So I hope and I assume he's taking this fight seriously. Other than that, I see all the advantages going towards Diaz. Nate seems to always be in shape. Connor has dedicated a lot of effort in this camp to working on his cardio, but he has not really been in that many full wars, full fight wars. So today, Nate weighed in at 170.5 pounds, whereas Connor weighed in at 168. I mean, Nate is just a lot bigger and stronger than Connor, at least that's the way I see it. I realize a lot can go into a fight. But I don't see Connor stopping Nate. If it does go the distance, McGregor could possibly get the decision, even if it does not deserve it. I mean, this is Vegas, and a rubber match would probably break records or at least make a lot of money. Anyways, I just see Nate winning this fight as long as he isn't overconfident, kind of like how I believe Rockhold was overconfident against Bisping. And even how I feel Anderson Silva was also overconfident against Bisping. To me, Nate is just a better mixed martial artist. And I see this fight going his way. That's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think.